G'day and welcome back to the Randless Sea. Last time around, oh, actually, I just, I did so much stuff last time I played, because I played for about 10 hours in a row. But it's hard to narrow down exactly what happened last time. I know, however, that the campaigner is not in great shape, and I was considering buying a new fancy pants ship. Uh, we're also getting really close to a bunch of different things, really. Um, we can progress the Clatterier, we can uh, do various bits like that. We're getting pretty close to being able to get the Memento Mori. Oh, so many things. Uh, let's just check what we've got sitting in our hold and what we have in our objectives. So... We've got to check all of the undersea ports, searching for Lytton. Yep, that's cool. I, I'd forgotten about that, actually. We need to go to Khan's Glory for that. Um, what else? Um, we've got to deal with Rosina at some point, yeah. Don't really mind all that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where are we? There should be an objective one, yes. I need to go down to the Khmer Canal, sure. Uh, I need to... Oh, I want to liberate the secret of immortality, but I don't care about that here. Uh, yes, Gator's Morn. And more importantly, if I do not want uh, my previous surgeon, the Brisk Campaigner, to die, I need to start dealing with Aminescence, which means I need to go north and buy some Mutasalt. So that is actually the first thing you're going to do. Um, so let's actually see what we've got by way of supplies. Uh, probably should do something with many of these things. But what and how and where? Um, I don't think I have any need for this ivory. I'm not sure about many of the other things. Often I'm just keeping things in reserve right now. Uh, so let's do that. So what we will do, we will sell off the ivory. Uh, I'm not going to sell off the feathers. We can sell, no, the literature I wanted for something down south. Um, and I've got the hull space, so I will do what I please on that. Ah, yes. If I do this with the modest, uh, she's got clothing she can make for me. So I was thinking I would get a new dress uniform. So I need some parabola linen. Uh, there we go. Need to make sure I don't use it on the surface when I visit there. Captain, they will be calling you Admiral. The modiste goes to work. You only just avoid saluting your own reflection in the mirror. Such rich linen, expertly cut to every contour, the understated plumage, the fur collar, so... Ah, I know what you're thinking. A damned shame it couldn't have been her mind. The modiste nodded, nods and admires her work. Come, Captain, your public awaits. So, I progressed her storyline. I lost my ferret. Oops. Uh, and I got some pages. So that's always nice. I'm nearly at a point where all of my stats are at 100, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's the other thing I was going to do. I wanted to go to my lodging. I should get recent news. How could I forget that? That's kind of an important thing to do. Uh, and I wanted to look at building something. So I could build another shrine to stone, further increase my heart. I could increase my iron further. I can't do the Serene Aquarium. I could do the trophy case. What about... There was one I wanted to do. Anatomical cabinet. No. Where's the one for pages? I'm sure there's one for pages. There's... Or are there only four? Of course. Fine. Be that way. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's just go and buy some supplies. I'm going to buy some more honey, and I'm going to buy a little bit more coffee. I should get that from other ports, really. Let's get some more supplies and some more fuel. And how much do we have? We got, we got heaps of space. It's the advantage of using this ship. 
But honestly, I'm not that fussed about it. I'll sell one Cintillac while I'm at it. And we'll just go north. Maybe I should have built the cabinet. Ah, well. Um, I was going to do something. There's a couple of things. I should check the nearby ports. I'm not in so much of a hurry, I can't do that. So, we start by going to the abyss. I want to check what type of abyss it is. Because there's a storyline I can do with them. Uh, whoops, G. An abyss. Dive. Uh, abyss of graves. I cannot do that yet. So. Depart. That's the last one I need. So let's go north. Ooh, look, there's a wreck we can explore. That's nice. So let's check that out. Retrieve the sunken treasure. Cabins of the crew are intact. Something of value may have survived. A luck chest. Once on eight, but the gold leaf is mostly flaked off. The heavy iron lock is corroded. It'll present no challenge to a good crowbar. One captivating treasure. Inside is... It's a rare piece of rare scrimshaw. Inside is a hollow tube of bleached bone. Round holes mar the surface. Writing, a person observes. They're right. Along its length runs an elegant script. The holes disrupt the text like a ministry sensor, like burn marks on parchment. That's pretty cool. Ain't gonna lie. Low barnet. Let's go. Okay. We can explore the church. We haven't done any of the storylines, so this doesn't matter. We didn't have it anyway. I'm not gonna drop off a plumbing in because I need it for the quest. Uh, so explore the church. So Lytton is not something I can check for here. Interesting. Um, so yeah, we just need to get more done here. Let's just keep going north then. Because we want to head to Gators Morn and to Wither. So I'm going to go straight north to Wither. I'm going to actually stick underwater for a while. Uh, because... I have been somewhat obsessed with this game um, and been unable to play. Ooh, what the heck are you? So, rather than... Oh, okay. That was just free supplies. I'll take it. Um, that would be much more neat if I were able to see what it was that was being pointed at. Whoops. Oh, hello. That is... Hopefully not a wreck ship. No, it isn't a wreck ship. Excellent. Oh wow, my hull's at 163. I should keep that in mind. A wreck. Search the London wreck. This stately shattered vessel is of familiar manufacture. Your lights illuminate a tattered admiralty flag, shivering forlornly in the current. 73% chance of success there. When you don your diving gear, the wreck groans as you pull yourself through its corridors. Your airline catches briefly as you negotiate the stairs to the captain's cabin. You unhook it and, in and ascend. Inside is a locked steel box. Back in your submarine, you prise it open and it contains a handful of interesting papers, a journal uh, logging ships visiting the Grand Geode. The word compromised is written next to each one. Yes, the Grand Geode. Oh, look at that. That is definitely man-made. And we'll surface soon because we've got to go to Vendabite. Well, we don't have to, but I'm going to Vendabite. I mean, why wouldn't I? Uh, let's just see what else is around, shall we? Okay. Because basically, with 163 hull, unless I'm very foolish, I can get out of dodge before anything too bad happens. And the thing I'm most afraid of, I need to gather a fair bit more terror before it really comes into play. Alrighty. The Tomb Colony of Vendabite. Let us gather some gossip, and then let us explore. In a wide space behind the hollow temple, you happen across a stepped platform of sorts. 
Four guards, the four statues guarded, marked with glyphs all but lost to time and idle vandalism. They look like the glyphs that decorate the Echo Bazaar in London, though. At the heart of the platform is a long-filled well shaft, too. You poke briefly, but something about the place makes you uneasy. A froth mask the size of a farmer's hand flutters down to a perch on the well's edge. A third, uh, another, a third. You retreat. Cool. Uh, was there anything I wanted to do with stuff here? No. I don't think there was. I can sell my almanac. Oh, that is the thing that I could build before. Yeah, that's right. I can sell my almanac for a thou, which I don't see why not. I'll just make another and it's a thousand more echoes. Better than a kick in the teeth. Okay, uh, do we dive? Yes. Let us travel more extensively under the water. There are more rewards there, frankly. And it's also a little more terrifying, but it's also new and cooler, and I'm overconfident in this tougher ship. So it's all good, right? There's more, like, uh, ruins. Hello? Hello, wreck ship. Okay, yeah, need to deal with that. And one, one, yes! Take that, wreck ship. Okay, destroy them utterly or send a boarding party. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You can't prepare a boarding party. Uh, any plan goes out the porthole. Yeah, we've done that before. 140 echoes, two fuel, one supplies, and revenge. The And we've also reduced terror. So, you know. There is a downside, of course. Uh, the downside being that we do effectively lose... Um, what was it? Ah. I forgot what I was even saying. Let's just ignore it. Can't have been important, really. Ah, oh, here we go. Color of forgetting. Minus 10 Terra, but minus 100 fragments. That just wiped out all my fragments. Ah, well. Big deal. You are not welcome here. That is moving. Therefore, enemy creature probably not something I really want to fight right now. Oh, it's a beloved! Those things are really terrible, and by terrible I mean super easy. Because they're really, really slow. I'm sorry, not sorry. Um, we'll see if I can kill it in time. And it's also really unobservant, so, you know. Okay, no, we are surfacing. We are too low on oxygen, and I do not want to run out. Okay. We're, here we are at the wither. I don't know if it'll despawn um, because of all this, but, you know, wither. We'll, we'll try diving again to deal with it. Down to 34 Terra. Of course, the Irigo, that's right. I remember what I did. So, the key part was Mute Assault. It cost five Z stories. Pretty crazy. Um, and the anatomical cabinet can be sold here. That's pretty nice. Uh, okay. So, as I said, Mute Assault. We need that. So then we can go to our offices and we can try this cure that the uh, campaigner has come up with. I have an idea, but I'm going to need flesh from Chilia Kingdom, solace fruit from Melting Isles with mangrove colors, Julias, and yes, more Mutasalt. I regret it's not cheap. 
She returns from her work room, eyes downcast. No, no, I still feel like creeping fire. There's another possibility. A species that understands fire better than any. There is another step. So I need Mutasalt and Zoop. Oh, well that's actually super easy. Uh, shops. More Mutasalt. I already have all of the other ingredients. So let's do that. Speak to... Oh, I need two Mutasalt. Well, fine then. And this actually is all the Mutasalt I can afford. I'm basically out of Z-Stories. So please be cured. There's another account in the... Uh, journal, uh, journals of M. Demo of a devil right used for extinction of flames. The substance called Zoop, it can be eaten by the unwary at least, but it can be turned to other purposes too. Approaching despair, a night and a, a day and a night pass, and she returns to your cabin, finch, fists clenched, lips tight. Nothing, it has not e even won me time, but if my soul is irretrievably contaminated, perhaps. Okay. I have one more idea. It involves a judgment egg and stones attention. Okay, one moment. Oh, I see what that was. Cats. I have one more idea. I'm uncomfortable with this matter of Z-Gods, but I cannot afford discomfort. Can you find me this last thing? It is rare, I know. Okay, here we go. A kind of desperate delight. Days pass, false stars fade, the Z is silent. At last you find her, calm and grave at the bow. She turns. I can report success. I can, but I am uncertain now of the eye. Who am I? My old soul is gone forever. I have another, one less combustible. No, there's little more I can say. I promised you I would keep no more of my own secrets, but I am another now. No, this is not some narrow slight. It is a holy mystery I would not curse you with. But you have my thanks. Always. Always and forever. Okay. So, celebrate with the campaigner. She's changed. The irises of her eyes, which were brown, now charred black. The flesh is shrunken on her bones. She's aged ten years, but her back is straight and her voice is clear. Wine, she says decisively. Wine. You and the campaigner toast her rebirth. Not a rebirth, she corrects you. Perhaps a pre-death. Hush, don't look at me like that. I'm a realist. Have another glass of wine. She has survived. She has found a cure. If anyone could, she points out, it would be me after all. You're lucky it was me who fell ill. Her wisdom has been tested, tempered, and not found wanting. Well, quite. But you are an invaluable assistant. A fine vintage, this. Another glass? You and she are safe, and all shall be well. And all manner of things shall be well. Your very fine help. So we have lost the brisk campaigner, and now have the indomitable campaigner. Death, where is thy sting? Where indeed? Don't mess with the campaigner, death. And uh, so the downside is that the campaigner, like, she doesn't increase the amount of hearts that she can teach you, but she's definitely a better officer. Um, five iron, nine hearts, one doctor aboard. So... Like, overall, she's actually better now than the Clatterier, which is why we'll use her. Uh, and, yeah, that's one of the uh, ship's crew that you can upgrade. We've got the Nacreous Survivor, who's actually the upgraded Nacreous Outcast. And the that's about it right now. Okay, so now with her, we can gather intelligence. We've basically done the main thing that we wanted to do. Uh, so let's explore the town. Uh, walk across the shore. Ah, uh, right, yes. So. A woman in an iridescent green gown waves from a rock nearby the shore. Sorrowful sighs waft across the water toward you. An idiot castaway, a mermaid, of course not. Mermaid's a preposterous uh, myth. Oh, Serpentus Serenesis, you rogue. With your human form tail tip and your alluring side bladders, you probably laid your eggs across the rocks here, haven't you? If we can lure you far enough away from them, we can gather them. So, ooh, look at that. So, the Z-worm slides sinuously into the water in pursuit of your bait. The woman is revealed as the cunningly shaped green tail tip of its tail. Green scale tip of its tail. You have a Zayla scrape the rocks for worm eggs. Sure enough, 
She comes up with a bucketful. They're on the point of hatching. Keep them safe. So I don't actually remember what you do with Serpent Fry, but that's still pretty neat to get. Uh, okay. So now, what do we want to do? We want to dive. We just want to see if we can kill the Beloved, because we're monsters. Uh, we've got kind of the primary objective of this trip done, which is trying to make sure that we handle um, the thing that was guaranteed to kind of um, what am I trying to say? We were pretty much guaranteed to eventually have her die if we didn't do something. Okay, so this is the beloved, but this is the beloved, um, as, uh, at full strength, which is fine, because we can still kill it. I mean, see what I mean when I said the Beloved is slow? Terra 31. Okay. We've already sent something to the Gantt Pole, so there's no point in sending this. So we will instead dissect it for knowledge. Our bellies can wait. And there was a job I was half up. Uh, and here, there I was, hoping you'd find me a challenge, the surgeon's eyes. Setting aside as cleaver and reaching for the pliers instead, the Beloved's underside is a network of old and overlaid scars, as though it's been disassembled and stitched together over and over. This thing's more patchwork than creature. Who or what could have had the power to put it back together and send it on its way? Two hunting trophies. They're also quite useful. Um, we're going to surface now to go to Codex. I was wondering, actually, if I talk to the Clattery Air, we'll do it at Codex, actually. Now I think about it. So the Isle of Codex. So there is now actually the ability to trade things here, which is kind of nice because before this was a completely useless port because, but because time has progressed far enough. Um, we can do that. And one lamentable relic for three unread logs? Sounds like a fantastic trade. An irritable monkey snatches the relic and cradles it to the matted fur of its chest. Another, from a cautious distance, flings three log books at you, one after another. Each is filled with scientific field notes. This one of Z soundings, this one of angler crab behavior, and this one cataloging the fossilized sigils of Codex. And we can buy useless things. And I was going to talk to the Clattery Air. So, um, I need a Clattery Souvenir. And I do not, in fact, have anything for her first one. I need to get a Soothe and Copper Long Box. I don't actually... I know you can get them in Irem. But I don't know about anywhere else. Alright, let's go back. We're kind of just going to... Do a short trip, so we're gonna go to Gators Mall now. Hey JLC. Yeah, so actually that's mostly sorted out by the light. If you've got something lit up, you really quickly um your gun charges really quickly. Same applies for someone that has you lit up as well, by the way. Um so yeah, it's that's why there's kind of that dance of trying to be behind something and shooting at it. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go to Gator's Morn. Hmm. Kind of annoyed that that cost me a judgment egg. Oh, no, there is something nearby. Where? Where? Come on! Hello? 
Oh, it's a wreck ship. I don't actually want to deal with you, honestly. And it's easy enough to avoid you. Oh no! But the problem is I'm at 113 hull. I don't want any serious fights. I really need to upgrade to a better ship. Because once I've got that, I can have two guns. And you know what charges faster than one gun? Two guns! It's a fairly simple equation, really. Um, I'm not... Yeah, okay, I am. I was like, wait. I don't think I'm going quite the right way. Okay. So, gate is more on. Uh, let us get the package for the um, guy that keeps paying us to do things. Uh, we could trade a drowning pearl, which we, I don't really want to do. We're definitely going to gather intelligence because we can, and we'll explore them all on. Okay. Raise our own flag. Or side, uh, no, we're going to side with the Kaganians. They may be foreign, but at least they're halfway sophisticated um, in this fight. The key part is the uh, pewter horseheads are really helpful. So the Shalonians are a fierce crew, but with your assistance, the Kaganians send them running. The privateer's lieutenant still wears the red and gold uniform of the Carnate Navy. Those epaulets are gone and you doubt is entitled to it. He clasps you on your hand. Thank you. If you ever Show the sign if you ever come to Khan's heart. He drops a pewter horsehead talisman in your hand. You'll find a warmer welcome. Okay. Um, now I could buy more solace fruit, but I don't really think we want to. So I won't. Okay. Uh, where to now? Uh, shall we go Demo Island and then back? I think so. Uh, let's attempt to calm the crew there, because that's one of the easiest random events to deal with, since we have really nice high stats. Uh, and go down. Shall we go literally down? Yeah, I think we shall. And GLC, you are 100% correct. I am saving up for the real big ship. So one of the interesting things I discovered last time I went underwater is if I just press tab occasionally, I can find when things are around and underwater that I can attack much earlier than I can do anything with them. And there's another thing over here. I... Ah, well, that was a good reason to leave. And that's another crew lost freaking things, really. And there's an enemy around here, too. Ugh. I really need to get that uh, better ship and the Memento Mori. Alrighty. Funging. Let's funge it up. Command Canal, that's the plan. We're gonna go down to the salt lines, um, Command Canal, Martin Island, and Fallen London. And I, I'm gonna do a couple of little things to try and clear, clear the map over here. Okay, so. Demo Island. Okay, we can go explore Demo Island, which I think is the key part. Oh, oh, this is how I can get um, soothing couple long boxes now. I 
Okay, so we'll explore Demo Island. 53% chance, 55% chance to watch and end it. I think we should try and capture the shadowy predator alive. Yes, one live specimen. Uh, if I have... Um, so I can sell that for 500 echoes, which is nice. Um, but I can also potentially use it elsewhere for... Uh, um, like I can use it to make the cabinet, which will increase my mirrors by 7. Uh... Admittedly, right now, I should probably just use the secrets straight up. Um, and how much secrets do I have? Three. Okay. I can't actually do this. So the interesting thing about offices is they are based on your actual score. Uh, not your actual score. They're based on your effective score. So um, that is definitely kind of a silly thing. Uh, this will let me increase it up to 150. So right now I can increase my mirrors. And normally that is a first officer thing, but the Modiste is kind of useless for raising his stats, frankly. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, let's see, there's an abyss here. I'll check out the abyss. There's a storyline I can do. Um, there's one that I actually kind of almost wish I'd known about um, just after I got the DLC, because I probably would have rushed it once I had the ability to go underwater and start a new captain afterwards. Um, but I didn't. Didn't know about it. Uh, but you can do it in a way that doesn't kill your captain. Uh, and so we are going to do that. Ah. Okay. An abyss. Dive into the abyss. Uh, this is the Ritual of Graves. This is the same as the one right near the start. So, uh, right near London. So it's not the one that I'm after. Curses. So there are 16 abysses on the map. Uh, each of them has a random type. And there are four different abysses. And there are four different abyssal rites. And you want to go through them in a particular order. Hello, Jilly Fleur. You are now easy picking, so uh, I'm going to pick on you. Pop. I'm also low on Z stories, so I'm just going to scoop up your bits. Command Canal and then home. And I've actually used a lot more supplies than I kind of thought about using. But whatever. So, we've got the Indomitable Campaigner sorted. Which means I can start going for the other things that are not time locked. Uh, okay. Salt lines after. Compile report report. Nothing remains. Uh, don't want to do that. Pick over the encampment. And we get one echo in exchange for our something awaits us. Which is fine. And we'll dive and keep going. All the way to the canal, which you can't exactly go to um, underwater, but no big deal. That's a beloved. Hey, I know you. That got us fuel. Excellent. So, beloved, you are not very good at spotting us, so you are also really easy to kill. And, uh, it's quite sad for you, really. Look how quickly it loses track of us. I think it is worth killing you for the morale boost. For basically all sorts of things. It's really slow at turning. Look at 
didn't even manage to hit us then, and it was right next to us. Okay. Now you die. And... Not gonna let it go, we're gonna dissect it for knowledge. And hunting trophies. Okay, so the downside of doing all that is we are now actually surprisingly low on supplies. So maybe we should just keep going? And maybe we should stop with the undersea explorations. We've killed the beloved two times? Four to three times? Only retreated because of lack of um, oxygen. So I think we're fine, really. Okay. I'm definitely going to get more crew when I stop. Alrighty. Command Canal. The spy game is kind of mostly here. Do I even have time to do my silly messing around? I'll make time. I have a suspicion that Mutton Island has basically been locked off from me. Not going to the surface yet. Ah, here, I got 65 burning and yearning. Yeah, I can totally do the, um, another sunlight run. Gather information from report report. Uh, fulfill our admiralty commission. And listen for surface gossip for spy stuff. Oh, you can buy things here as well. Awesome. I'm going to buy one supplies. And now, what we're going to do is basically we're going to go here, and we're going to go there. And hopefully that will finish, like, the exploration. So, they did... It used to be that there were some parts of your map you would literally never be able to uncover. Because... They are too at land. Uh, you couldn't physically have your ship enter the section of map that um, would uncover that tile. And they basically have now said, if you hug the coastline enough, you will definitely get to see it. And that's good because the empty spaces of the map, especially where it is really obvious that there is something there, because seriously, at the very least, let me fit draw the coastline and... Say, the rest is land. Uh, and I would be happy. Yeah, that bugged me. Okay. And here you can kind of see some of the outer reaches of London, which is kind of cool. Here yeah, we've discovered Bugsby's mar Marshes, which is one of the earliest... Um, uh dangerous areas that you can go. So now... Right, yeah, I bet I need to go in. Whoops, I didn't mean to turn on full power, but whatever. Mutton Island! And nothing exploded, so that's all for the best. Hey, you! 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 Die! 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 Damn it! If the camera hadn't gone weird, I would have gotten to eat it for supplies and reduce my hunger. Instead, I literally just wasted it because I didn't think about it. Ah, uh, no, this has been... Yeah. Under the jurisdiction of the, um... Admiralty. Uh, and by the Admiralty, they mean the new Dawn. So, yeah. Because if the game talks about bright-eyed men and women, they mean the, uh, the people responsible for things down here. Okie dokie. But it also means you can't use something 
use up something awaits you. It's really difficult to do that now. Which is interesting. Because one of the uh, hacks, so to speak, around everything before here um, was that you could uh, avoid dealing with the cheery man. Ah, that's cool. So you can do all of these things. Uh, but you can avoid uh, dealing with the cheery man um, and the... Encourage them. Harsh rations, harsh voices, tired faces. Encourage them. This isn't the time for rousing speeches, but a quiet word here and there will help. Yeah, look, we're we're literally right by home. You can you can cope, guys. Just yeah, you're a little hungry, but it's fine. Let's set something aside. The revenue men don't need to know about anything that we're carrying. Collect messages from the harbor master. Someone wants to sign on, and hey, hand over our cargo. Excellent. So, uh, now we can, you know, do the bits and pieces we got to do. Like, um, we could pass on the strategic intelligence, but I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to keep it so I can make vital intelligence later. I'm going to check for a commission. Wants us to go to Wither. That would have been great um, five minutes ago, okay? Uh, and we'll turn in those port reports. Where are you? Here. And we'll just sell uh, the few ports that we picked up. It was a quick trip. And we got to a bunch of places, so everything's fine. Um, it doesn't open the report. just pays you and leaves the office. Mm-hmm. Demo Island. Le Barnett. We actually did get to a number of places now, didn't we? Okay, so now what do we have? Um, we have going... Um, well, I guess what we have is... Uh, well, hi, more crew. It's just like the wind down p part. Uh, and we will... Um, I didn't mean to do that last one. We'll check for if there's any new recruits. Nah. I will hire the Zayla from it. Why not? And um, then I think we'll just leave everything for next time. Um, yeah. Until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.